We all agree that stress is bad, as you mentioned, but does it affect our cravings, appetite, metabolism, and play a role in our weight gain? Interesting question, so Dr. Joey has the answer for that. Good job. Let's go over there and talk about that. Thanks We say to ourselves we need to stress less. Yes. That's so the big topic. that we can be very we can be more healthy, but then yes. we start stressing out over being healthy. <laughs> never ending cycle. Yes, and right. there's a recent Gallup poll that showed that fifty percent of North Americans feel that they're quite stressed, significant amount of stress every single day. Yeah. Um, people are, I'm seeing it in my clinics, people are having anxiety issues or stress issues and unfortunately we, we now know that the mind and the body are not separate. That's right. So what you think will affect your immune system, inflammation and high stress levels can lead to excess cortisol, excess insulin, gastrointestinal, diabetes. Yeah. And so from a weight loss perspective, when people say what does stress have to do with weight loss? A lot. A lot. A lot. Because if I'm chronically stressed, like the, the body can take short terms of high stress, mm -hmm. but moderate chronic stress is an issue. Okay. Because it raises cortisol and insulin, and cortisol and insulin are best friends. Yeah. And they both signal the body to store fat, and okay. you store fat here in the tummy area. Right. Well, when it's here, it's a risk factor for all those disease processes I just me I mentioned. So. We walk around tense and stressed, we don't even realize it, and there's things we can eat and do. So that's okay. what we're going to talk about today. So let's talk about what we can eat, because there's only so much you can tell people about their sort of the environment and their life, because yes. really yes. that's the key. Yes. But your food as well, it's medicine. Food is medicine, and food can either help you or hinder or you. you. There's really no in-between. There's no neutral food. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to eat low glycemic index food, mm -hmm. because if we eat high processed sugary foods, it's an irritant. Yeah. And you're going to go up, but what goes up must come down. So on our website, on cityline.tv, there's a list of low GI, low glycemic index food versus high GI. So you okay. want to stick to low to medium, and all these beautiful foods here, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, yeah. they're lower. Beautiful and colorful and beautiful bountiful and, colorful. and full of water and fiber and all the good stuff. Absolutely, and that's how it's going to make you feel. Right. Now, if we go to a second major food category, it's healthy fats, mm -hmm. omega-3. So the best way you can describe omega-3, it's like a conditioner to a hair follicle. Yes. So it actually takes down inflammation in the brain, and we know it helps with nerve transmission. Okay. So everybody's talking better in the brain when we have lots of omega-3s. So yeah. you want to support brain health, and any inflammation is bad. So you yeah. want to have omega-3s come in capsule or liquid, nuts or seeds. Okay. Good, so make sure you're getting your daily supplement of that. The daily supplement, and the liquid some people don't tolerate, but now it comes flavored, mm -hmm. so you're not having cod liver oil fishy. like you're, yeah, it's not fishy anymore. Yeah. It shouldn't be fishy. So. Right. Um, the third thing is coffee and alcohol can be irritants to stress, mm -hmm. and that's so hard, but mm -hmm. during very high times of stress in my life, I've, I'm, this is my best friend, coffee, and don't I've you had love to go her? off it. I love she's her. She's so sweet. She's gorgeous. Oh, she's, she's lovely. lovely. Just a beautiful joyful person. But we got to go off of it. If you're yeah. if you're having anxiety issues, if you're having stress issues, minimize. I mean, mm -hmm. I have some clients who come see me. They're drinking six cups of coffee a day. Mm -hmm. Too much. That's too it's much. too much. Yeah. Now this one's kind of funny. You're gonna say, "What is this?" What is that? This is actually a face roller. Now, oh, this is like industrial size. Yeah. Now why am I bringing a face roller? Are we supposed to relax and massage and get the? I don't know, fluids moving? Temperature changes have been shown to relax you. So if oh. you put that in the freezer, yeah. as much as I don't like putting myself in a cold water shower, yeah, or do that, I do you? it because it instantly brings you to life. It yeah. instantly changes your mood. So if you don't want to do that, because I hate it every time I do it, but it works. Yes, yeah, it does. I mean, I, mean, I just ordered this off a website. I think it's Amazon or, or I, can, I can let you know. But yeah. you put it in the freezer and in the morning, Honestly, you just it wakens you up and it sort of changes the mood and it okay. sort of snaps you back. So temperature changes, hot and cold, are actually really good for the body. Nice. Yeah. You know what I do when I, the first thing I wake up? What's that? I smile. <gasps> With my, I do. I'm still asleep and I'll do this. And I look ridiculous because I have a um, a mouth guard in. <laughs> I'm really sexy when it's bedtime. Can we have that picture? Yeah. <laughs> I smile, it's and even when I too. when I'm not looking forward to the day, it actually it triggers something in my brain. Do you know how effective that is? What it you're doing? It really works. That yeah. is a serotonin I wake releaser up and before right I get there. Up, I just do this. I look that crazy. That is a good idea. Well, yeah. it's shown to increase serotonin. Frank, it works. Uh, Frankie Flowers and I were talking yesterday. Yeah. Just having certain plants in the house or having a picture of a tree in your house mm. brings up serotonin. Okay. Amazing. Maybe I'll, I'll make a picture because I can't kill that. No, you can't kill that. <laughs> and then certain teas, yes. sleep 
If you're not sleeping properly, mm. it, it is a Forget thing. It. It's a whole other segment that we're going to talk about. But certain teas have valerian root, chamomile, they help you sleep. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for you're that, welcome. Joey. We want to make it easier for you to succeed. So go to CityLine.tv for your WLC yeah. meal plan to help you make the right food choices and stick to the program or you can scan the QR code on your screen. So take your phone and open up your camera and simply aim it at the code as if you were about to take a picture of it. It's gonna take you right to the meal plan with the snap of a photo, which is amazing. 